In audio. In audio. nice two and a half year old the evening ended up being really slow but this next clip happened to be my first encounter with a big eight So what ended up happening is the big eight ended up coming out into our food plot about 150 yards from me, but I had some mature does under me all morning and they ended up catching a whiff of me and um, they were trying to find where I was in the tree and he saw that and didn't like it and he ended up leaving. But about probably 20 minutes later, I had this nice encounter with this two and a half year old. Morning, I seen the big eight point um, from my dinner, 
from my dinner table. I was eating breakfast and filming a couple little bucks out there and then he popped out at about uh, about 8.30 he popped out. So I got some good film of him. I got to really see what he was and he's pretty big. He's an old mature buck, got a giant body. set up over this yeah I'm over this little food plot and then I got our big brassica field about 120 yards from us so get to watch that tonight kind of doing some observation and then but we got a trail camera on this little food plot here and we had a nice eight point come through about it's pretty wide shorter tines but pretty heavy too nice eight point here last night but we've had does come on this food plot pretty consistently but uh, the plan is to watch this brassica field though, see what comes in and out of that, so I can make my decisions for tomorrow morning. Um, but hopefully we get some action for you guys, and uh, stay tuned. So this night I ended up seeing the big eight about 200 yards from me at last light. I was thinking he was probably bedded in the tall, like, grown-up prairie grass field. He ended up making his way through that and then into the hay field. I couldn't get good film of him because there's stuff in my way at the tree stand trying to film him. But I watched him through my binos, and he made his way over to this younger three-and-a-half-year-old, sparred with him for a bit, and then they made their way across the hay field. But the next morning, I ended up making my way to a new property. Uh, I saw a lot of does, some younger bucks, and then I got a little bit of film of this nice three and a half year old nine. It was uh, hard to get film of him. He was pretty far away in some thick stuff, but I did the best I could. In audio.
morning of October 22nd, and I'm going into one of our best stands, and I'm hoping to see a big eight. So all morning I've had two toes underneath me and I haven't been able to move at all the whole morning. But I got on my phone my dad texted me that the big eight, which is the target buck that I've been seeing, the buck that I've been seeing, was in the field by my house. 
house. So he watched them all morning, but he had to go to work. So boy, he scared. He was heading towards our neighbors. So he ended up going around and scaring them back into our swamp. And so he texted me. He's like, be ready. I still got these two toes under me. I'm sitting here forever. Then I see him walk off in the distance. So being a bigger six point, I thought it was him. He walked up like 10 yards from me and ended up walking away. And then probably 10 minutes later, I finally see him. I get my bow in my hand. And then this big doe finally, she saw me move towards my bow and grab it. And so she was standing at like 10 yards all morning. She was standing at like 10 yards looking at me as he makes his way in. I'm standing here like this because I think he's going to come down and cross right here. I got a shot down there. But he, because he never saw the doe. Once he ended up seeing the doe, he caught him right here. And he ended up being like 10 yards or 15 yards when I shot. So, and I put my 20 pin on him. Right? I didn't realize how close he was. So I did hit him. Yeah. There's a scrape right here. Is your arrow in him? Is your arrow in him? <laughs> well, it's October 22nd. We finally got it done on this big eight. Um, I didn't film the intro this morning. I had uh, a doe and a fawn under me all morning. But uh, my, this guy ended up popping out into the field by our house. And my dad seen it before he was going to work. And he ended up going out there and scaring it back into our swamp. So, in about probably 20 minutes after that happened, I ended up seeing this guy. He was following the uh, swamp in the woods. Kind of headed like right to where behind me, where I have a little shooting lane. Then he saw the doe in front of me and ended up cutting closer. And it was only like a 15 yard shot. Uh, couldn't get film. My camera's on the other side of the tree. It's a giant oak tree. The arm doesn't, or the ratchet don't fit around it. So it was on like a little branch. And it's too much for me to move to try and swing it around. But uh, got some nice shot on the GoPro though. So, but 
this one really meant a lot to me. It's a nice mature buck. Had several encounters with it already in the season. Probably seen it five times. Um, but yeah, just an awesome buck. And it was just an ex exciting hunt. And to have my dad and my, and my best friend Isaac um, come track it with me was awesome. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.